Do you think that the stock prices today are not accurately reflecting the gravity of the current situation? Have you received any advice about the coming second crash or recession or shorting stocks due to lousy valuations? Different brokers and advisors are giving varying opinions about the stock market. To help you in this confusion, I have found a beautiful clip of Warren Buffet that will clarify you about all these confusing situations, lousy valuations, short sellings, and how the stock market can screw people's life. At the end of this clip, I will quickly summarize some important points for you guys to reinforce this important lesson in your mind. So let's watch guys. Just a quick request, hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Yeah, just raise your hand and the, the, the monitor will supply the microphone. Uh, uh, thank you. Howard Winston from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. One question. Are you concerned about the rising valuations on the NASDAQ market where companies trade at multiples of revenues instead of multiples of earnings? The right. rising value of what did you say? The NASDAQ market. Oh. The, where they traded 10 times revenues mm -hmm. or more, 30 times revenues instead of 10 times earnings. Yeah. Well, we don't pay much attention to that because there are, throughout the careers Charlie and I have had in investing, there have always been hundreds of cases or thousands of cases of, of things that are ridiculously priced and phony stock promotions and, and the gullible being led into uh, to, to believe in things that just can't come true. So that, that's always gone on and always will go on. and. It doesn't make any difference to us. I mean, we, we, we are not trying to predict markets. We never will try and predict markets. We're trying to find wonderful businesses. And the fact that a part of the market is kind of screwy, uh, you know, that is, that, that's, that's unimportant to us. We, we tried a few times shorting some of those things in our, in our innocence of youth. And uh, it's very tough to make money shorting even the obvious frauds. And there are some, some obvious frauds. And it really is. It's not tough to. It's not so tough to find the obvious frauds, and it's not tough to be right over ten years. But it's 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 very tough to make money uh, being short them. Although we tried a few times uh, way back, uh, it's it's uh, we don't look at indicia from from uh, stocks in general or from PEs or price sales ratios or what other things are doing. We really just focus on businesses. We don't, we don't care if there's a stock market. I mean, would we want to own Coca-Cola, the 8% we own of Coca-Cola, the 11% of Gillette, if they, if they said, they, you know, we're just going to delist the stock and we're never going to, you know, we'll open it again in 20 years. It's fine with us, you know. And then if it goes down on the news, we'll buy more of it. So it, we care about what the business does. Yeah. Norton, did, why don't you give a... a, a now I will quickly and briefly summarize four key lessons from this clip to reinforce them in your mind. The first one is, should you be worried about high valuations or the stock market going up or down? The second one, buy a great stock when it is on the operating table, a low risk and high return strategy. The third one is, shorting even the obvious frauds can be dangerous. The fourth is that the stock market by nature is screwy. Well, according to Warren Buffet, he is not concerned about stock market valuations. He just doesn't care if there is any stock market or not, because he is investing in businesses that will continue to do business no matter what happens. Like, he owns Coca-Cola and Gillette. People will continue to buy Coca-Cola and these wonderful businesses will continue to perform well. Now, buying a great stock when it is on the operating table. According to Warren Buffet, it's a great opportunity to buy a good stock when it is down, due to some panic or news. Because his investment philosophy is simple, that is, investing in wonderful businesses, not the stock market index. Indexes might go down by any percent, you shouldn't be concerned about it. Just consider it an opportunity to buy great companies cheap. This strategy has a low risk, high return potential, because any negative impact is already priced in the current price. Shorting even the obvious fraud can be dangerous. Some lousy valuations can tempt you to be short, but according to Warren Buffet, shorting even the obvious frauds can be dangerous. He tried at different times in his youth, but could not make money because people tend to believe these lousy valuations. And the last one, it's a great advice that nobody will give you. The stock market can screw you. 
Every day, we continue to hear about stock markets going up or down, or is it about to go down? This creates a widespread panic momentum that can screw people's life because many people start to trade on the news and make mistakes that can be very costly for them. The stock market by nature is screwy.